So there's a slave cylinder. You can see there's oil around that area. And, and there's another photo. Look at all the oil around it. So check this uh, master cylinder. The reservoir should only have a little bit missing and the, re the rest of it's for the brakes. So if it's only about a quarter missing, it's probably a slave cylinder. In neutral, and your gears, um, if you can change gear in neutral, with the engine off, and every gear uh, uh, engages perfectly, it's not your gearbox. That's the new slave cylinder box. This is a picture of the new slave cylinder. There's a bleeding kit also you can buy if, if you've got no one to help you. But I really don't think it's a good idea. It was. It took ages. I had two people trying to get the air out. So don't even think about it. Get a second person to help you bleed the, uh, the slave cylinder. So that's the slave cylinder fitted. Um, please try this first before you do anything else. As I said, if, you, if your gearbox is working, uh, just buy a slave cylinder. You can buy them from anything from $30 up to about $70, depends on the quality. And that's what you're seeing there, it's, it fitted. Uh, please, that's, that, that, uh, that's the self-bleeding kit, which are about 20 bucks. But I really don't recommend it. It's called Tool, Tool Pro. Just... Uh, that, that you must have two people if you want to do a good job and get the air out or you'll still have probably problems. So that's it guys. That's your slave cylinder. Uh, if, every, if your gearbox is working well and you can easily fit it yourself too.